Hello. So if you open up your file explorer, basically, so you'll notice these drives right here. So the, if you have multiple drives, you'll see them right here. And if you want to mount one of them, just if you click on it, it'll ask for your password, you give it your password, and then it will just mount the drive. So also, uh, here's a quick tip for you. In case if you encounter an error, or if you're dual booting a system, and you encounter an error while mounting this, it's mostly because if you restart your Windows instead of shutting it down, it leaves the drive in a dirty state, so it cannot be uh, like mounted directly in the Linux system. So Make sure to shut down your Windows system and then boot into your Linux system. Just if you have multiple drives. Anyway, my phone is the channel. Subscribe, leave a like on the video. Make sure to check out my Patreon and all other socials. Will be linked in the description below. So make sure to help me out. You can also check out the shop. Um, everything will be linked down below, and there are really cool merch right now. Uh, in the shop. So yeah, make sure to check it out if you find anything nice. But here's the video. It's like really easy to do. So let's get into it. Uh, so first, open up the terminal like always. Like everything in Arch, you always first open up the terminal. Uh, so let me just make this a bit large. I'll make the whole thing a bit bigger. There we go. So now it's a bit bigger. Uh, it, it does look a bit weird, but anyway, uh, make sure to first uh, check for ID. So if you search ID, you'll see your UID uh, is thousand. Like UID equals to one thousand. GID equals to one thousand. Now this will be important if you are mounting our uh, NTFS drives and also for NTFS drive, make sure to get. Uh, let me just show you dash s uh, NTFS 3G. So make sure to get this packet right here. Let me just that. There you go. So yeah. So if you are thinking about permanently mounting this to your art system make sure to get into your CG. now with that if we do lsblk now we can see all the drives that are available in our system now make sure to identify which of the drives do you want to mount do you want to permanently mount your system now as you can see this is mount point so as you can see this right here is db2 so let me just make this smaller and you can see this works so this is the thing that i mounted is mounted to this long directory right here oh my god anyway it is mounted to there you go run media the work so yeah it's mounted there but we don't want it to be mounted that far into the drive for our uh, art system so we also want this we don't want this because this is i think my uh, this basic partition uh, but we do want uh, sda2 and sdb2 these two are the ones that you want now remember you don't need the whole drive you just need the partition that contains your data mostly because this drive if you're using ntfs uh, this is the one for windows linux doesn't need this and necessarily it doesn't need this so yeah you don't need to worry but we'll just worry about this sdb2 right here so now what do we actually do step one is do bulk id so oh, i mean sorry my bad you need to do sudo for this so sudo bulk id and you can see there's a lot to take in but if you don't like if you have more than this much drive there's a really good way to kind of filter it out so let's say uh we will use the pipe so what does this do i'll explain it so if you do grab let's say we want uh sda2 or sdb2 so you can do slash dev uh, my bad and then do slash dev slash sdb2 oh my my god sdb2 so if i just and click enter here you'll notice it just gives us this and uh, mostly what this is doing is uh, the output of this so you can see this whole thing is the output for this right here and it's running into the grep command now if you don't know what grep does it basically searches through a text and find things that matches what it has been searched for so it'll find the line where this exists so as you can see sdb2 this is what you have you can see it has the label and everything so let's say we also want uh, sda2 so there we go and you can see we have sda2 and sdb2 now this is a really great way to kind of filter out things that we want and kind of clean out get the clean out but for anything like if you are running command that is like really long you can actually pipe it through uh, grip and find specific things that you are looking for anyway uh there is all uh, we are in here we're interested in the ueid now we can use this uh slash dev slash sda2 we can use it but this is very unreliable because sometimes if you swap out your drive if you like change it around this can actually change so uh, uh, depending on the connection this can get changed so using the uid is the safest bet and this will never change no matter what this is the uid will always remain the same and it's, it's the overall safer option so now what i would say is uh keeping this uh open up a new terminal uh or you can just uh, if i'm using console and for console if you are also using that you can do control shift e for a new tab and this works on kitty and most other terminals so yeah that's a good tip i'll just make it a bit bigger and the file or the uh, thing we are interested in is the sdev file but before we do that we have to make place like make a place where our like these partitions right here can be mounted to or they can stay there so we basically have to make a home for them so what we can do is do sudo uh, mkdir dash p and here's a cool trick for you if you do slash uh, so mnt is the directory where i want to mount it but i want to mount it at different folders so we can do this by curly braces and let's say i want like the name labels are there i want uh, storage 2 and if i just do comma work uh, what we will do 
is it will create two directories one will be slash mnt storage 2 and another slash mnt slash word 2 sorry just word so this will create two directories so if i do that so it has created those two directories and we're gonna check that we can do ls slash mnt slash uh, as you can see there are two directories so now what we have to do we can do nvim you can use nvim you can build new vim you can use nano it really doesn't matter what you use make sure to use a text editor you can even use skate for example like, it, it really does not matter now what do you use but for me uh you know what i'll, I'll use new vim so i can do nvim slash oh yeah and sudo make sure to run a sudo for anything that you're doing from the system so you have to slash etc so if you want to edit etc from your user you need to use a uh, sudo for that so etc slash f stab this file editor. if you have installed arch manner you will remember this a drive so you will remember this file and if you haven't installed it manually that's unfortunate but uh, in this file you'll see some stuff you'll notice that it says slash dev slash nvme one be oh the slash dev slash so the way your drive is mounted you will find it here so you can see this long uid right here for this now uh, we can actually match it so let me just uh, if i just copy this and then if i just so can i just paste it oh no never mind but if i just do this and then let me just search for uh nvme n1p1 i think that was it uh nvme1 n1p2 so nvme1 n1p2 uh, you'll see that this is the uid right here so this is the uid and this will match uh this right here so this is basically getting called with this now why is this important so we can actually specify the uid specify where it will be mounted uh, you can see it also tells us here so you can see the type the option the dump the pass so there's a lot in here so let me just add one right here so step one is the uid obviously i'll just do U uid equals and we can just copy this over so let's say now uh, this one right here is db2 so if i just uh, like i said you can copy the whole thing right here so you can do control shift c and yeah there we go uh, i'll just paste it in here i'm sure it'll be and there we have like i said done this now we have to specify the amount but now the spacing really doesn't matter you just have to be spaced out so you can do slash so this one is labeled word so i want to put it in the word so you can do slash mnt slash word and then uh, we'll go a bit further now this is the important bit so you can see it says vfat right here it says ext4 so for ext4 you can literally just copy this and uh, just change the uid and the mount point you should be good but uh, since this is an ntfs drive it will be a bit tricky uh, by tricky so in this type section you have to put ntfs dash 3g because that is the thing that we like i said now installed previously and then in the next section as you can see the options uh, there are a few options that you want so first we want default so most of the things will stay the same then remember the uid it basically sets that who owns this so we own this obviously and then we can also put uh gid equals to a thousand and we can also do file permissions so d mask is basically the default file permissions zero two two and then comma f mask now make sure you are putting all of this in the same so let me see if i can uh, no never mind so make sure you put all of this in the same line do not go between line even like so make sure it's all in the same line so 133 and the rest of the two options dump and pass we can literally just put zero for this and that's it for one now let me just uh, show you how this works so if i just save this and uh, let me just do this and let's say if i unmount this let me just unmount it and if we just do sudo mount dash a so what this does is mounts everything that is inside of this sr specified in the f star folder so if i do that so as you can see as soon as i did that this got mounted and we can actually let's do lsblk and it will tell us where it's mounted and there you go as you can see it is mounted it will work and it seems to be working correctly so let's just do another one just to again make things better so there you go and for this i can i want to actually just copy this over now in case you're using vim or you know, vim and you don't know how to do that you can really i i like to do it with yy as it makes things a lot easier so there you go and then i try to p there you go. now you can see we have a copied version and i would like say that just put us a comment in here just to specify which this is so this is db2 and this will be sda1 so slash shell slash sda1 hopefully so if i go here and then sorry sda2 this will be sda2 anyway i'll just copy this over select it control shift c and i'll paste it in here so I'll remove this and then the control shift v and i got pasted it there we go now the mount point again will be uh, storage 2 and that should be it for my two drive now like i said for an ext4 and even butterfs uh this is basically how it will be done uh but in most cases i would do no basically i do think that you won't be using ext4 or uh, partitions like that for your main drive uh, because i don't think most of you are coming from windows or maybe you use like dual booted windows or something uh or if you again if you do like using ext4 for all your drives or fat32 the mounting system is relatively similar and for fat32 again you can use this one because 
this is fat 32 but this is for the boot but like i said uh, for ntfs it's relatively simple you have, you have to do this and that's about it so if i oh my god and if i just do this and if i just do this as you can see this is not mounted but if i do this right now there we go now you can see this is also mounted now you can see it has been giving us this message right here which is uh your gesture has been modified but the system d still uses the old version so we have to do this command to kind of reload system d and tell it uh hey don't use the old one use the new one so we can do system ctl uh diamond uh reload and that should do it oh there we go or again like i said uh you have to do a sudo basically so do it with sudo and it will just update uh, let's do it again update f stab and so whenever you boot into your uh, system uh these drives or whatever ones you specify will be mounted automatically and you don't have to use your password every time you want to get into them uh, which is very convenient if you are lazy like me and you don't want to uh, like mount your drive like 20 times a day so, yeah uh, if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next time make sure to check out all the socials and the shop make sure to get it nice something nice for you and i'll see you guys in the next one bye